Hi, Cancer. How are you? Welcome to your October 15th through October 31st, 2019 Horoscope Psychic Tarot Reading. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video if you're not already subscribed, share with your friends and family, and also if you want a personal reading from me, I am available. Check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com to purchase a reading from you. You can also call me or text me at 703-791-9162. I also do same-day readings. So with that being said, let's get into your reading for October 15th through the 31st, Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. And my social media links are in the description box below. Instagram is Lamar Townsend Tarot. Facebook is Lamar Townsend Tarot. What's in store for Cancer for the period of October 15th through the 31st of 2019? Last position, we have the Three of Cups. Present position, we have the World card. Could have been a recent celebration. Could be a celebration for something overseas. Could be a celebration for a new life milestone in either your life or someone else's life. If it's someone else's life, it's definitely someone close to you. Cancer could be a family, family member someone you've grown up with maybe it's kind of both of you having a milestone at once or maybe you and more than one person all right get the four swords those but there is, is some fear about moving forward even though there's a celebration there is hoopla there is magnetism there's excitement there's also fear with you like at the core of it all um whether you have fear for yourself once again or fear for someone else. Get the Knight of Pentacles in the conclusion. So either way, there is something about a new opportunity, a new job opportunity, a new living situation. Once again, something to do with travel overseas on the table for you, Cancer. Could also be on the table for someone you're in a relationship with, specifically if you're in a relationship with a Cancer Pisces, or I'm sorry, maybe a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but I get a Capricorn Virgo Taurus mainly, and specifically a Capricorn Virgo Taurus male, but it can be a woman as well. But I specifically get masculine energy. Now you could also have Earth in your chart if you are a Cancer male. Get the star. You are the apple of everyone's eye, Cancer. Someone is the apple of your eye. But I feel like for many of you, you are the apple of someone's eye. Could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, once again. <laughs> and I'm actually seeing engagement for some of you. Could be engagement during this time period. Could be marriage. I'm seeing more so engagement. Someone offering you something. Specifically if you're Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female. Alright, because some of you do crosswatch. Um, but if you're a male, you could be offering someone something. Male or female. Six of Pentacles could be someone you know. Definitely celebrations regardless with friends and family. Reconnecting with people from your past. I definitely feel that energy during this time period for a lot of you. Going off the sidetrack of this scenario that I'm getting here. A very specific scenario that Spirit seems to be focusing on. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. I love you, Father. But there is something about celebration, nostalgia, with the past, with people from the past. With maybe people you haven't seen in a while as well. 
Get the Knight of Wands. I'm also getting some mischievousness as well. So some of you could be connecting with some mischievous people. Or it's like maybe there's people from your past that, you know, bring out the mischievousness in you. And you, you're around them this month. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking that up. It's not a bad thing, but it's just like when... Maybe it's like a known fact around the family of the office. Like when cancer's around these people, oh, they're a different person, honey. It's like that kind of thing, maybe. That's what I'm feeling. You could be reconnecting with someone like this, that this month. Some of you may need to watch your health. There could be something about health issues around a Capricorn Virgo Taurus male. Or it could be something around a... Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. All right, or and or both. So sending prayers out to that energy and wishing the best. All right, wishing the best outcome with that. Definitely could be something that's keeping you up at night. I would just say, you know, wish, you know, the best for all. All right. I think that's about all you can do at the moment, Cancer, until maybe more information is found out about what exactly is going on with that. Moving on to another scenario. By the way, if some of you want further clarification, you definitely can contact me for a reading, lamartownsandtarot.com, or call me or text me at 703-791-9162. Some of you could be in a relationship with someone that your friend, family member doesn't necessarily like. Meaning maybe a friend, family member of yours doesn't like your spouse, doesn't like your boyfriend, girlfriend, doesn't like your living lover, and they're just very, they could be very catty this month. Very dramatic. And it could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or the Aries Sagittarius Leo could be dating a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's kind of just like them. That's very specific as well. It's almost like dumb and dumber from your perspective or from like other people's perspective. Just like a match made in heaven. There's just two hot messes. Um, I get the Queen of Swords, which is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, who you could be dealing with. There could be uncertainty or confusion around this Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, fem feminine energy, female. Could be specifically regarding traveling, future traveling, or traveling during the latter part of this period. I don't know why I'm sensing October 25th and 26th, maybe. Could be something for business. Maybe the two of you were sent together. I would say just try to remain peaceful for the sake of image. There's something about remaining peaceful for the sake of image. Like not letting personal differences or personal issues between you and someone else get the best of you when it comes to business, a business deal, a business partnership, because you don't want it to become business gone wrong, all right? Definitely don't want it to become business gone wrong, because I do get the tower. It's not set in stone, potential, but still there, right? Still the energy is there. The potential is there. So let's get some further clarification for my cancers. October 15th through the, 19th, through the 31st of 2018. Ooh. <laughs> All right, what's going on with cancer? Further clarification for cancer for October. I need some new cards. If you want to donate to the new cards fund, I don't really know. I don't have a donation link. <laughs> Get a reading for me, I suppose. Because some of these cards are really in bad shape. Look at this one, Cancer. Look at this. This is horrible. But look at the card it's for. What, can you blame it? 
I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> for the clarification for cancer for October 15th through the 31st of 2018. Thank you, Father God. For the clarification for cancers. Look at look what falls out. How ironic. For the clarification for cancer. Everything has a reason. Everything has meaning. October 15th to the 31st of 2018. It's a seven now. Don't embarrass you. I'm sorry. We have a Knight of Pentacles in the past. Someone's been planning something. Maybe you've been planning something. Someone else has been planning something in context to you. But I feel like there's a moment that coming up that you're involved in somehow that someone's been planning for a while. Whether it's during this time period or whether it is during next month maybe. Because I'm picking up it could come next month. Picking up November 15th specifically, there's something about a planned moment, a planned event. Could be like an engagement once again. Um, could deal with something with like paparazzi or like a staged PR event. I get the Hierophant here. Religious intuition. Could also be seeking um, insight, clarity from someone you trust, a psychic, tarot reader, crystal ball reader, priest, bishop, first lady, something along those lines. Queen of Wands here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo once again, feminine energy, underneath is the King of Cups. Queen of Cups. There's some of you Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Why do I keep saying that? I'm focusing on Cancer. Maybe a lot of you are cross-watching or have the water energy, a mix-up of water energy and elements in your chart. I don't know. But specifically, Cancer men may be having to choose between two women or you may be dating two women, whether you're single or maybe not. You know, I'm not sure. Um, I do see some of you may have a ring on your fingers, all right? I do see the potential of that. And it's interesting because it almost looks like if you look closely, it looks like the King of Cups could have a ring on his finger. If you look, like, right there on this finger, it almost looks like he has a ring, right? So I'm just saying, I see between the King of Cups is the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, female, and then uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, female as well. Could be actually engaged to marry to the Capricorn, Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, female, and the Queen of Cups could be from your past, all right? I do get that energy. The Queen of Cups also could be dating to uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or for my Cancer females out there, you could be, let's see, you could be dealing with someone from your past as well. Maybe while you're single, maybe if you're single or couple, so this could be like a love triangle, five angle here situation, like a lot going on. Um, if not that situation, I just get the energy of, you could be involved somehow with an ex from your past. May not be romantic necessarily, but it, you are somehow connected. I feel like someone's not happy about it, whether it's maybe this Capricorn Virgo Taurus female or someone else.
Once again, there's something about a celebration for my cancers during this time period. I feel like it could be involved around a job, career, money, good news. Yay, they got the job. Yay, they got the um, contract. I don't know. Something like that. Yay, they got the house. You know, there's some good news. But there's kind of a sacrifice involved. Once again, it's like you got the job, but maybe you have to relocate. Or you got the house, but... It's not fully furnished yet, or something like that. There was there's more work that needs to be done. It's like yay, but you know, like there's a but there. So it's almost as if like the celebration is kind of coming bittersweet because it may come off as like a goodbye, a see you later for some of you. Yeah, for some of you, there could be a celebration that's also kind of a farewell, goodbye, like moving on, leaving the nest, leaving the hometown, uh, going on new sites, going on new adventures, new paths, new doors opening for you with the sun. Could also do with children, all right, as well. But there is some maybe fear, confusion about moving forward. Into the future, Cancer. The future is bright for you moving into November. Although the future involves change, and maybe the change is what you're afraid of. It's like the future is here, and you have to say goodbye to certain things from the past completely, or you may feel so. It may be so, um, but it's like you're learning to celebrate the good times anyway. Celebrate good times, come on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. <laughs> Cancer, I hope this reading resonated with you, and I hope you have a great month. October 15th through the 31st. If you want a reading from me, I am available, lamartownsintero.com. You can also call me or text me at 703-791-9162. I do same-day readings. If you've never had a tarot reading before, that is okay. You can still contact me. I am available. I'm a God-fearing psychic, and I'm here for you. So let's connect also on social media, Lamar Towns and Tarot. On Instagram and Facebook, the links are also in the description box below as well. The link to my website. Check out my book on Amazon, Zodiac Signs, Sex Language, and my singles on iTunes. Love and light, God bless. No stress. I'll see you in the next video, Cancer, or I'll see you for your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you. Love and light, God bless.